Hey kids, as promised, I am doing a segment called Ask Ermgard, and this was born from actually my inability to answer and keep up with all the emails I'm receiving. I have received over 500 since I did my first tutorial, and it's so many that I haven't been able to keep up with it. So rather than well, I don't want to ignore anybody, basically, um, but I know I can't get to all of them. I just don't have the time. So what I'm going to do is I went through all as many emails as I could, and I picked the most frequently asked questions, and I'm going to attempt to answer them here. Okay? All right, let's get started. The most popular is what are my hair secrets? The first secret would definitely be coconut milk. About once a week, I take a can of coconut milk and I soak my dry hair in it for about 20 minutes. And at the end of 20 minutes, I will rinse out my hair, uh, shampoo and condition it using shishido. I don't know if I'm spelling or saying it right, but it's a Japanese product. I use the shampoo and conditioner. And from what I hear, it's normally really expensive. Uh, I've heard friends tell me that they've paid upwards of $20. I get mine at the Japanese market, and for a bottle, I don't know, about this big, it's only around $10. So when people tell me that they're spending like 20 bucks, I'm like, uh, maybe I need to go to the J store because it's super cheaper there. Uh, <laughs> let's see, what else? Um, I, I self-trim. People have asked me how I get my hair so long they've asked me if I have any tracks or if I have a weave. No, it's all my hair. Um, what I do is I went to the Sally and I got just some regular hair trimming scissors and I sell trim about once every month, month and a half. I found that back when I was going to the salon, you know, you ask for a one-inch trim, and you leave there like, why do I have a bob now? I don't, I just cut off all my hair. So, <laughs> I don't, I don't let anyone else do that. I think, um, what also probably helps is the tool I've shown you in my, um, No Heat Curls tutorial, and that's the Remington Wet to Straight. After I shampoo and condition my hair, I take the Remington Wet to Straight and I use it to steam my hair dry. It's cut down um, on split ends. Uh, let's see what else. I would also say that what's cut, what's helped me get rid of my split ends is using a boar bristle brush. I'll be honest with you, I don't really know why using a boar bristle brush has made my split ends practically go away but it has, so I would get a boar bristle brush if you just want to try it out. I got mine at downtown for $4, so, you know, go downtown, get it for $4. Let's see, what else? Um, I do a hot oil treatment with olive oil once a month. We don't have a microwave, so I will get a pan, and I will heat up about a cup, cup and a half of olive oil, and I will... Uh, let it cook, simmer, marinate, until it's lukewarm, because I don't want it to be super hot. Obviously, I don't want to scald my head. That's not the point of this. I want to have nice, shiny hair. <laughs> so I do that. Uh, let's see, what else do I do? Uh, coconut milk. <laughs> that's, that's really about it. Besides, also, I use a wide-tooth comb. I found that uh, when you use a comb that's got two, the teeth are too close together, it really rips out your hair. Uh, and I think that when you're ripping your hair, it's not really conducive to not having split ends. So I do use a wide tooth comb, which you've seen me use in my uh, no heat curls tutorial. I also think the no heat uh, curls tutorial that I did has also really helped with my hair because I love my hair to have those 40s curls and I used to curl it, gosh, every day. So I know that that's probably helped. Also the fact that I don't blow dry anymore since I do use the Remington wet to straight. Let's see, what else? Um, what makeup do I use? I use, when I go out, I use MAC. Uh, it's a mineral powder. 
The color is dark. They don't. There's no numbers. It's dark. I like it. Um, I also will use. Normally, when I go out, I don't use. I don't like to use a lot of makeup, so I will use a tinted moisturizer. The one that I use, I got from Sephora, and it's by Smashbox, called Sheer Focus Tinted Moisturizer, and it's got. It's oil free, and it's got SPF 15. If you can see that. Uh, let's see. I use the the color is dark. Again, I guess they stopped naming them or getting creative. They're like, look, this is dark. We have dark, we have light. <laughs> so this is dark. Uh, even though this is oil free, I have very, very oily skin. So I'll also use a mattifier. I got this mattifier from the Sephora. It's called OC8. You only need to use a tiny dab and it soaks up all that oil uh, for about eight hours, which is awesome. Mm. It does, it's also nice because it doesn't leave any type of residue. I don't know if you've used other mattifiers like I have where you put it on your face and you're rubbing it in and you're getting like some sort of flotsam on your fingers and you're like, what's that? Well, this doesn't happen uh, when you use that, when you use OC8. So use OC8. What else? My lipstick is Ruby Woo. It's the best lipstick I've found. Uh, it pretty much works on almost every skin color I've ever seen. I mean, this is the best lipstick. It's the only one that works for me, uh, and I've tried every expensive and cheap drugstore brand out there, and this is the best. I also use a um, lip liner by MAC. It's called Current. Uh, it really blends well with the Ruby Woo, so I use that. And then for my eyelashes, I've tried every eyelash enhancer out there. I am like Sephora's best customer. <laughs> and the one that I found that works the best is actually the cheapest also. It's a great lash. I love this stuff. I get it for like six bucks at the uh, Walgreens. Sometimes it's even on sale for like five, which is great. Let's see. Anything, what else do I have on my thing here? Um, who does my tattoos? The person that does my tattoos, he used to be in L.A., but he's not in L.A. anymore. I think he moved to, like, Alabama or Georgia with his lady, uh, and his name is Noah Baxter. I will put his information somewhere here, either up here, down there, in the comments, somewhere. He's an awesome artist and the nicest guy you'll ever meet. He's, he's great. Um, let's see what else. Mm, oh. Okay, I've gotten a lot of comments and questions and emails about my arms, which I think is hilarious because uh, my arms have been the bane of my existence for since I can remember. I my the big joke is is that I have big old hunkin' man arms. Uh, so it's really nice to think that somebody appreciates them since I don't really appreciate them. What I do to I guess keep them sort of buff is, I mean, half of it's genetics, but the other half is Pilates. I do Pilates and I have my trainer focus on my arms um, and my gut, right? You always want to be hard. And I also lift two pound weights. I don't lift anything heavier because I have a tendency to bulk up and it's really not the look I'm going for. Big bulky man arms, it's super hard to fit them into vintage, so um, let's see, what else? Oh, and I, I will show them off. You can see my guns here. This, can you, there we go, all this muscle, no fat, all muscle, and they're like huge. The, you can see my, my guns, my guns, my guns, that's right. Anyway, um, so thanks for the appreciation, it's really nice. Um, and that's, I'm going to actually end this because I only have about 10 minutes to do this video and we're coming up on 10 minutes. I just want to say thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. It was unexpected and you all have left such lovely comments um, and sent me such great emails. I just, I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I have some other hair tutorials that I have been working on that you will see in the new year. So again, once again, I thank you for subscribing, and I wish you all a Merry Christmas or a Happy Hanukkah, whichever you celebrate. Thank you so much. Bye.